The question is, how do you figure out before someone moves into your house just how many people are actually planning on moving in your house? I have a couple quick tips for you. I'm Monique Burns. You can check out all my information on my website here or email me if you have any questions. And I love to hear comments. And if you wanna give me a like or a subscribe, it's super helpful. I'm at a landlord convention right now learning all kinds of new things I can't wait to share with you. So how do you figure out if there's extra people? You can't always. <laughs> well, one of the things that one of the uh, landlords does is he was saying that when they call and he says, so who else living with you? That's how I word it. So they don't use the word family and kids because I don't want fair housing violations. I say, who else living with you? But when he asks that kind of question, he waits for a little bit of a pause in their reply. And he thinks, oh, okay, they're calculating it. Like how many am I going to really tell them compared to how many are actually living there? The other one is, and I thought this was really clever of him, he brings one of his kids with him when he goes to show the house. And that's something that keeps coming up at this convention, how important it is to show the house physically to them, not just give them a lockbox code, but to do some interview questions at the house. And when he shows them the house, he walks through like one of the typical things. Oh, would this be your room? Or, oh, do you think that would be the room for who all did you say again? You know, see how they react to that. But then here was his clever trick. He brings his own kids and they go down into the basement and he stays up in the kitchen because when they go down into the basement, that's when they have the real conversations and they discuss who's going to stay where. So I thought that was good and wanted to share it with you. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.